My Robospadium has a new robot. My latest remote controlled vehicle is called R4, and same as its predecessor Curiosity Pi, it is built around a Raspberry Pi. Additionally, this rover has a second brain which is an Atmega 328P with Arduino bootloader. The undercarriage is composed of four servos, with their control lines being connected to the Atmega. For the first time I have added sensors to one of my robots. I'm using a MPU6050 board that communicates with the microcontroller over I2C to detect rotational movement. The four servos of the drive that are modified for continuous rotation can be controlled in such a way that the robot can turn around. The angle of rotation is forwarded from the Raspberry Pi to the Atmel chip using three GPIOs and as soon as the set point is reached, the servos are turned off. The camera is attached to a fifth servo so that you can point it to the top... ...or to the bottom. Four LEDs are arranged around the camera to illuminate the darkness of the Robospadium. The power line runs through the power pole on the top of the robot that has an anti-twist mechanism. The 12V cables are guided by a wire at the ceiling of the Robospadium. One linear regulator with a heatsink and a fan provides the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino with 5V, the second without a heatsink is for the servos. The base area of the robot is very small compared to the height of the vehicle, thus the rotational sensors are used for another functionality. If a high force acts on the power pole at the top, bringing the robot into a sloping position, the servos are stopped and controlled to turn into the opposite direction to counteract the tilting movement. This robot has also an infrared interface composed of an infrared LED and a sensor type TSOP4838. Using that interface, R4 can communicate with special modules in the Robospadium. Those modules have also an Atmel 328P chip being programmed by Arduino software. Through the robot you can light up or move objects in the Robospadium. The new robot is housed in a box with a base area of 2.30x2.30 meters, being underneath the roof of my garage. You can discover what's inside this box on my project page using nothing but your browser. In contrast to the single images that are transmitted by my old robots, R4 transmits a live video stream using MJPEG. Thus you need a browser that supports MJPEG streams to control that robot. I have done the development of the control interface using Firefox, thus you should be able to drive R4 using that open source browser. You can get the operating manual on the project page. There you can also find the schematics and the software to build your own remote controlled robot. Thanks for watching and I'll be back!